Yeah, 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 yeah. Went like I thought it was going to go. Like I said in the video, man. Any fighter that's brave enough to walk right at Canelo. Nah, what you get is what you get, bro. Young kid got young kid got some skills, bro. And at the end of the day, it was an active fighter versus an inactive fighter. Um, you could tell at the weigh-in. I mean, they both was in shape, but you can really tell Canelo was in dog shape. Like he was, he was fully prepared. He knew the opponent he was getting in the ring with. He knew his tendencies. Everybody know what James come to do. It ain't like you got to watch a whole lot of tape. You already know he's gonna be there. So all you gotta do is in the in the middle of his combination, time him for a big time him for a big shot, or time him for a really good combination, something that he can feel, something that can bag him up, something that you know that you can make count, and then go from there. Because it's not like he had the be he has the best defense in the world. His defense is his offense. He get that volume on you. He as soon as he start putting that leather on you, he don't back up and he fight every second. All three minutes of each round, and that is dangerous. That's what makes him so dangerous. You got to fight, and you got to be in shape, because you know he going to be in shape for the 12. You know, Team uh, Alvarez did their homework. At the end of the day, man, Canelo prevailed in a major way. Um, wow, that was a big, big, big knockout. That was brutal, man. I thought he was going to get him in one. The way the first round was going, as soon as he hit, as soon as he hit Kirkland with the first combo, I was like, "Oh my God!" He Kirkland changed his whole tune. He started bagging up, telling me, "Come on!" I'm like, "Oh yeah, he gone. It's a wrap." I'm like, "When you ever seen Kirkland do that? That motherfucker finna order fries and shit." <laughs> he forgot he was in the ring, man. He got hit so goddamn hard. But anyway, man, Canelo did that, boy. He came to fight. A large Mexican American audience. He fought right here in Houston. This is the type of fight that can catapult him to superstardom. Um, I thoroughly expect his fights to become much more bigger. A Canelo fight already represented a money fight. Of course, it didn't represent like a money fight, like you fight Pac or money, money, man. But he's the he's the youngest star we have in boxing. When the old heads leave, he's going to be the guy. Like actually, Mayweather, the one who said it first after he beat him, I guess people be thinking Mayweather just talking out of his ass when he's giving, giving his opponents credit. But he really be telling y'all, look, when I'm gone, he's the guy. He said that shit. He ain't saying that shit to be nice. What the fuck he got to be nice for? He just whooped his ass. Mayweather was telling you, the motherfucker got hands. Y'all see me and I, 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 you know, I beat the shit out of him, but look, you know what I'm saying? I had to use my mind up in there. I had to use my skills because that boy, they're nice. And if you just watch Canelo and watch the things that he do in the ring, then you have a pretty good idea of what he's capable of. When he fought Angulo, I've never seen Angulo look so goddamn vulnerable. And... Even when Angulo was in close in his chest, he really wasn't doing nothing. Canelo was using some defense up in close. And I was like, hold up, Canelo, you got it like that, homeboy? I didn't even know you had any inside work. And the thing is, he wasn't even working on the inside. He was letting Angulo work on the inside while he was catching his second breath. At the same time, taking no damage. And I was like, oh, yeah, he ready. Because offensively, you already know he can punch. He can box. He got good timing. He got good combinations. Got a great left hook to the body. And uh, yeah, man, he just he, he just ready for that next level. And I remember when Angulo went to the corner and Virgil Hunter said, "Does his punches hurt?" And Angulo was like, "A little bit, like a little old bitch." You know. Anyway, let me not criticize the fighters. I'm going against my own. You know, I always criticize people who criticize the fighters, and I'm over here doing it, but, you know, I'm tired. I've been drinking. Uh, that was a great that was a great uh, display of skills, though, man, against a very tough, strong Kirkland. Even though he was inactive, didn't have Ann Wolf, you still got to go through something being in a 12-round fight with that dude. So, Canelo showed up. This was his moment. Unlike 
Frankie Gomez, who ain't even make weight. This was his moment, too. Man, I'm pissed off at that dude, bro. But apparently he just don't want it. You know what I'm saying? He have no discipline, man. Apparently he just don't want it. Because this was his night, too. This was his night, too, bro. This could have been, man, this could have been epic for him. Fuck it. I guess he don't want that spotlight. You know what I'm saying? You can't deny that Golden Boy didn't put him in the best predicament. So at the end of the day, if he falls off and you don't hear from him again and he don't become that, you can't blame his promotion company. They did what they were supposed to do. He didn't do what he was supposed to do. But anyway, Canelo wins, man. Kirkland, shit, ever since you signed with SMS Promotions, it's been over for you, bro. Sat on your career. Uh, the fight that you tried to, that they tried to put you in with Rosado with no money in it. And after you turned down that fight, they didn't even put you in the ring at all, man. I blame SMS Promotions, dog. They did the same shit to Gamboa. Sat on them, and then when they finally secured a fight, it was a months and months and months and months and months later with no tune-up and threw his ass in there with Terrence Crawford. Set him up for failure, man. And anybody that says it ain't SMS Promotions for these fighters coming up short, it may not be 100% their fault. I mean, at the end of the day, the fighters still are the ones that fight. But you got to keep a fighter active. And yeah, I mean, shit. Oh, my bad. SMS Promotions is just the upper echelon promotional company. They promote so many great events. Uh, what fight was that again? I don't remember. Yeah, they don't promote shit. You know what I'm saying? They're garbage, man. I wouldn't sign with them if... My life depending on it if I was a fighter. Message to all fighters, don't sign with 50 Cent, man. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. You will, Your career is going nowhere. That dude just trying to make money, man. He don't know how to guide no fighter career at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? He don't throw no events. That's a 100% SMS promotion. He ain't got no TV dates. Really don't have many connections in the sport of boxing. He just getting his feet wet. He just got a name and he got a lot of money. But at the end of the day, I've said it plenty of times in previous videos. You need more than money and sometimes you need more than a name. Sugar Ray Leonard tried to promote. He don't do it no more. Why is that? It's not easy. Hearns tried to promote. He don't promote no more. Why is that? So what makes anybody think 50 Cent is just going to come in boxing? Not movies and directing and TVs and music and all like that. That's different. Boxing is a different animal, man. Anyway, Canelo wins big tonight. Good comeback fight. Put that boy down in his own in his own state. That's terrible, man. Man, feel bad for James Kirkland. Maybe he can he can shake from SMS Promotions and get a good team behind him and come back strong. I like to see him come back at 60 because uh, 54 ain't going to work for him no more. He's outgrown 54. Um, hopefully him and Ann Wolf can work out their, their differences because without Ann Wolf, <laughs> he ain't the same dude, man. He ain't the same dude. I mean, he tried to fight the same way, but I don't know what it is that she instills in him or brings out of him, but Kirkland ain't Kirkland without Ann Wolf. I wish he'd tell that boy against, uh, who was it? Oh, Tapia. Fuck that. This your destiny, nigga. Go kick his fucking ass. <laughs> Whatever it is, she be telling that motherfucker. He be in that motherfucker. He be in there after the motherfucker. So, it ain't happen for him tonight, man. He gonna go ahead and take that L. But, uh, Kurt, uh, for Canelo, sky's the limit, man. Can't wait to see him in the ring again. And uh, we'll see who the next opponent is going to be. Let me know what you think about the fight. What went the way I thought it was going to go. Um, we'll just have to see what happens next for Canelo. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. I'm out.